Well, my first physical product for all of us photographers, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are asking, you know, what the hell is it? Well, I'm wearing it right now. I've always had an issue with leather camera straps. That issue being, they always got stuff on my clothes. The type of stuff I'm shooting, whether it's motorcycle, cowboy stuff, whatever it is, I like to hide my cameras underneath my vest or jackets as a, you know, just a extra layer of protection. So I've always had an issue where, you know, the straps get stuck, no matter what the jacket is. And that's because usually, you know, the rough sides on the inside. So it got caught on everything from my hair to my t-shirts and yada yada. That's a cool shot. Let me see. So now I was just itching to play fetch. <sighs> Dog's gonna dog. So let me tell you guys about this strap. So this is a collaboration with Clever Supply Co. They've been around for a hot minute and everybody knows who they are, especially if you're a film shooter or you know if you're in that realm at all. I'm pretty sure there's no other strap like this out there, um, hence why we ended up collabing together. So what's so unique about this? We're calling this, I guess, the Kamaki, the Rambler Rough Out series strap. I don't know. Maybe it's a work in, <laughs> work in progress. To start off, we have half inch leather here. If you use the typical thickness that most leather straps are, you know, you might have to play in there. So we went and chose thicker leather. So no matter if you're, you know, rocking like an M11, you know, a Hasselblad, a 907X, a Mamiya, whatever it is, this strap will most likely be able to handle it. From there, this is also an adjustable strap, similar to the one that they already have, except I requested for it to be a little bit longer because a lot of times when I'm shooting cowboy stuff, motorcycles, whatever it is, sometimes I just need a little bit more length. So I have a little bit more uh, room to uh, uh, get some action. From there, going into the hardware, we did all brass hardware. So they usually don't do brass, but you guys know I love brass. From there, when we go down to the rivets down here, I asked them to double up the rivets just for extra security once again. You guys will start putting them together. This is like a cowboy quality camera strap here. So, and then we had to put my logo somewhere on there. So we squeezed the logo right on there. Really subtle. I didn't want it to be too obnoxious. Obviously I'm rocking the peak design. I love peak design because sometimes I don't like rocking a strap and other times like I need a strap. So the Peak Design Anchors have been a game changer for me. We're also gonna do a, a split ring version as well, because I know some of you guys just like, you know, marrying your straps to your cameras. So back before I got my Pop Sedona, I would take a bunch of solar motorcycle trips. And all those trips, I would usually have a camera just hanging around my neck. So when I was going through old Americana towns, I could just simply stop real quick, take a picture, move on. For anybody that's interested, I'm using the Tipox Samara 28mm f1.4. It's cool because we do have an affinity lock on it over here. So usually if I'm doing stuff like this, I just keep it there, close it down to like f4, f5.6. But anyways, again, I would just have a lot of issues, whether I'm on a motorcycle or a horse, ATV, uh, like whatever it is. Anytime I'm trying to do some cowboy shit, I guess you could say, my straps will get stuck. This rough out no longer does that. So in a lot of situations like this, I had a huge issue with, you know, the straps getting stuck. So with us making a rough out version of their adjustable strap, it easily moves back and forth. It doesn't get caught. And I love it. I'm gonna recreate a video that I sent Todd, the owner of Clever Supply Co. This is, you know, how pretty much everything started. I gotta get out my favorite jacket first. This jacket right here is the jacket that I kind of live and breathe in on shoots, obviously not in summer. This jacket's by Huckberry. They sent this out to me like two or three years ago, and I literally wear it on every photo shoot, every road trip, like whatever adventure I'm going on, this jacket's kind of there with me. The issue I was running into with every other uh, leather camera strap out there. Personally, I like leather straps because uh, the type of stuff that I shoot, I feel like it just holds up better and they're timeless. And you know, if you take care of them, you know, you can hand them down to your grandchildren type of thing. But you see, this is usually how I rock the camera when I'm on photo shoot, especially any of the cowboy outdoors adventure type stuff. Quick little tidbit. Uh, I actually keep these super light but warm Patagonia gloves in this pocket at all times. 
these gloves don't leave this pocket. So even when I'm done with the shoe and I don't need my gloves, they go back in here. These gloves literally live in this pocket for emergencies. The issue was leather straps would get stuck to my shirt, stuck to my hair, all that. Purely because again, the rough side's usually on the inside and it gets caught on things. And so when I'm going, I'm putting a little bit of weight against the camera to pull it out, it would get stuck. So I would actually have to end up getting my hand, doing this and pulling it out like that. To where you know when you're on a, an adventure shoot and there's a lot of moving things and like actions happening that little moment has made me lose out on a lot of shots uh the smooth side being on the inside it doesn't catch on anything i absolutely am in love with this oh so i did a collab with private supply crew. oh todd what's up dude call this the rough out yeah, baby. This yeah. Is inside. Mm -hmm. We yep. put that in the inside so it's smoother. When oh, you got your thing on there. Uh -huh. Let's go. It's a little bit longer. Yeah. And then we doubled up the rivet. So that was yours. Look at that. So I did, we did an anchor straight, one. straight on over. Yeah. So, and you'll notice that the leather is a little See? bit stronger on this one. Yep. Yep. Because it's thinner. Very, oh, I almost dropped my camera. Benj is a big guy. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You got tons of space here, though. Yeah. Makes total sense. I do this a lot, too. We're all right at sideways, and yeah. it does get stuck. Yeah. But this, oh, there you yeah. go. I'm about to get Taylor the gift here. It's been in my butt. So I collabed with Clever Supply Co. Peak Design Anchors. We have double rivets. It's adjustable, but it's rough out. So you wear it like this with the rough out version out, so it slips. You know, it doesn't get stuck in your clothes. Yeah. I just wanted to give you one. That's it. This is awesome. Thanks, man. And that's pretty much it. To me, this is really exciting. I actually used to do leather work back in the day. So it was cool just to be able to work with them and finally be able to like to custom fine tune a uh, photo leather strap for myself uh, that works perfectly for my workflow. And I know if it works for my workflow, my needs, it's going to work for a lot of your guys' workflows and needs. All right, no more tuning on that. Leave that alone.